Dr. Basil Pakeman, aka Real Dr. Manhattan here. And guys, don't feel left out. Here we have a gentleman that has gotten fat graph in his face. He is in his early 60s, but look at the before compared to his after, and that's true of fat grafting. And we still have another gentleman who is even high up in his uh, earlier age, you know. And you can see the difference uh, we have with the fat grafting here. And uh, again, all these gentlemen have gotten fat grafting. And the thing about fat grafting, a lot of times as we get older, we lose volume of our face. So therefore, the face tends to descend. And besides using volume, we also have skin laxity and, and between skin laxity, volume loss and descent, these can combine. But anyway, these are all here, fat grafting to the face, but sometimes you know, fat grafting only address one question. If it, it replaced volume, but it doesn't address laxity, which a facelift maybe needs sometime, or a neck lift. But anyway, we see this gentleman here again. He looks wonderful for a very small procedure. And fat grafting, unlike uh, fillers, does help to rejuvenate the underlying tissue. So guys, thank you. Fat grafting, males, you got it, guys.